Hello, this is Boomer Tech Adventures, and we're going to do a series of videos, short videos, on how to use pages. In this video, we're going to look at what do you see when you open up the app, and what are the two main menus that you'll be dealing with. So I'm going to my dock. I am on my computer. Pages on the iPad and the iPhone is a little different, and those will be different videos. So here's my Pages app. I'm going to open it. And what pops up are things that I've worked on recently, so I'm going to cancel. And I'm going to go over here to the top left-hand corner and go to File. And I want to open a new file. When I do, I see a page that looks like this. And notice down on the left, these are all the different kinds of things I can do in pages. So you see that I can do a plain document that's blank, but also I could choose a template for reports, books, uh, flyers and posters, newsletters, all very helpful, but I'm going to start with basic. I want to use a blank. I'm just going to do a new document and I'm going to have it in the vertical or portrait mode. I could do it in landscape, uh, but most documents are in the vertical mode. So it says create down here in the lower right hand corner. All right, so here's my blank page for my document. Now there's a couple of things I want you to notice. Across the top, there is a menu. And this looks different than what you see on Word, if you're used to using Word. Some of the same elements are there, but they're also elsewhere. So first over on the left, it says view. Well, what does that mean? Well. If I want to also have the page thumbnails, I can. I can so that as I create my document has multiple pages, I will see the pages down here as thumbnails, and I can easily toggle back and forth. Let's go back. I'm just going to have document only. What other choices? Well, I can show a ruler, uh, comments, all sorts of things I can add. I think I'll put the ruler in. Okay, so I see that this is like eight and a half inches. Moving across, zoom means how big I want my text. So right now it's 125. Uh, if I want to make it much bigger, I can, and you can see that the cursor gets larger. I can add a page. There may be times that I want to insert something, everything from a page number to a footnote. Let me move around. I can add a table, a chart. I can add a text box, a shape. See, I can move it around, etc. Uh, I can add media, like a movie or music, comments. The collaborate is interesting. If I want to share this with a colleague or a friend, I can put the I can tap on collaborate and you can see I can give them access through mail, messages, etc. We'll cancel that for now. And then we have format and document. Format is uh, opens up this particular menu down the right hand side. Notice it changes. See I've got the box highlighted, but if I click out of that it changes to what I will use for the font. So as I look at the right hand menu, you can see I can choose to be working as if it was the body of the document or if I want it larger print for the title. There are all these options. Now I'm on style, so here are my fonts. I've got a multitude of options. And even under the fonts, I have 
many options in how they'll look, everything from bold to italic, etc. Here I choose my size, bold, italics, underline, cross through. Uh, we'll skip character styles for now. That'll be another video. I can choose the color of the uh, text I want and uh, how I'm going to justify it to the left, in the center, right justified, both margins equal. And then there are more details down here, like where to, uh, if you want to add bullets and lists, you have your options. Now those are the basics, and that will get you started. So if I just click, over here, let me hit Format again, nothing selected. Well, I don't want anything selected. Ah, there we go. So I've got uh, Helvetica, I'm using regular, and it's 17 points. So there we go. I've got it uh, left justified, but I could center it. Or I could make sure that both margins on either side are okay. Now, over here, Again, I'm looking at the uh, ruler. Now, the reason it looks all kind of off-center is because I have it at 200%. If I take this back to 125, you see it looks more normal. So you have to remember that if you decide to make it really big so you can see it, of course, it won't print that way, but if, while you're creating it, if you put it up to 200 or 300, percent, you're going to see things uh, a little out of kilter. So 125 pretty much keeps it uh, centered. Now, notice up here, heading, and I can insert a page number. I can insert the page number there. I could tape something else. Or down here, I can also, let me scroll down. If I click down here, I can add page number there instead. I can put some kind of uh, name here. Lots of options. So that should be enough to get you started. I hope you will come back and watch some of our other videos as you learn to use pages. Bye for now.